What's up, demons? It's me, your boy, HMK, once again, and what every year, every year we gotta do the uh, song and dance about the Game Awards, and the Game Awards is actually creeping up this year for 2020, it's actually happening this Thursday. And with the Game Awards and being a Nintendo fan, there are two huge questions that we always have to ask when it comes to this show, but for this video we're gonna ask one of them, and that is, is Breath of the Wild 2 going to be at the Game Awards this year? We all thought, well I should say a lot of us thought, myself included, hardcore, that the Game Awards was going to feature Breath of the Wild 2 last year, but to my disappointment, it didn't. But I wasn't disappointed with the show just because Breath of the Wild 2 didn't show up, it's because the show last year was kind of bad. Okay, it was really bad. But to say the least, there are a bunch of factors going into this show that could point possibly at better chances that Breath of the Wild 2 could make some sort of appearance at this year's Game Awards. So if you're ready for the hype, let's strap on in and dive directly into the noise. So the biggest elephant in the room is that, of course, Age of Calamity, How it War is Age of Calamity, is already out and about. And I feel that Nintendo might have wanted to wait until this game is out, about, and in everyone's minds before they really kick off the hype for Breath of the Wild 2. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking me where is the Age of Calamity content when it comes to the game. Well, you know, I was a little preoccupied with a little quest within the game, but I could say within 77 hours I was able to 100% it. So let's go! But in my head, this is more of a marketing strategy rather than a story-based strategy in order to get Zelda fans ready for Breath of the Wild 2. Because of course, if they were to promote Breath of the Wild 2 before Age of Calamity is around to release or at time release, then obviously the hype for Breath of the Wild 2 would cannibalize Age of Calamity. And of course, the other edge to that sword is that Age of Calamity did immensely reinvigorate the hype for the Breath of the Wild, I would say, subseries within The Legend of Zelda, because of course, Nintendo is really running with that success, which is a good thing, because I want more Breath of the Wild. And of course, Zelda producer Aiji Aonuma did claim during the reveal of Age of Calamity that Zelda fans will only have to wait a little while longer before getting new information when it comes to the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I consider it a more focused strategy of what Nintendo was trying to do when they were hyping up Breath of the Wild, but they had Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD in the meantime. The next reason on the docket is that this will be a great way to kick off the Zelda 35th anniversary which is happening next year and if all pointers go to the right direction then Breath of the Wild 2 would be the big game of that year. And honestly if we consider what's going on with the world with the pandemic and if the pandemic never happened either way the Game Awards would be an immensely great platform in order to promote Breath of the Wild 2. And Nintendo understood this with the original Breath of the Wild because it made an appearance that there in terms of promotion three times. So you know, like father, like son. And with everything considered for the Zelda 35th anniversary, Nintendo really needs to retake their presence on the Zelda front when it comes to promoting this game. Because it's been quite a while since they said anything about Breath of the Wild 2, and I know it's nothing compared to what we've been waiting for when it comes to Metroid Prime 4, which I'm really pulling for. It'll be really cool if they started off with the Game Awards. But when it comes to Breath of the Wild 2 and the 35th anniversary of Zelda, I'm guessing that they're gonna have to make it big. And honestly, like I said earlier in the video, I really hope that Jeff Keighley and the Game Awards as a whole learned their lesson from last time because last year's show was definitely not stellar when it comes to compared to their previous shows. You know, you would think this is a no-brainer, but some of those guests that I see getting announced for the Game Awards makes me feel a little uneasy. You know, just a smidge. But something that's making me really feel some type of way is that Breath of the Wild 2 actually got nominated for Most Anticipated Game at the Game Awards. Now, this could literally mean nothing in terms of Nintendo's possibility of showing off a trailer at the Game Awards, but I mean, it's not unheard of that they would have something ready just in case. I mean, Nintendo did show off a Breath of the Wild Champions Ballad trailer when they won Game of the Year at the Game Awards. And honestly, taking nothing away from the other nominees, but I'm pretty sure Breath of the Wild 2 has it in the bag for winning most anticipated game. And if it does, then I'm pretty sure Nintendo would have something ready. It's like, oh, you're anticipating Breath of the Wild 2? Here's a little taste, and then it shows off the next trailer finally at the Game Awards. Honestly, when you consider everything that we've seen leading up to the Game Awards 2019, I feel that the stars align a little better for the Game Awards 2020 at a possible mention 
reveal photo something about breath of the wild 2 at the game awards i mean hey we've seen wilder stuff at the game awards maybe we could finally get a name going forward and this is just a hype talking if we talk about the marketing implications that a breath of the wild 2 reveal at the game awards could have a trailer reveal or a huge reveal of any type can easily rubber band a lot of sales when it comes to age of calamity and the original breath of the wild for nintendo during that weekend I mean, come on, you saw it happen. When Age of Climbing was announced, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition sales shot way, way up. So if a Breath of the Wild 2 trailer does get revealed at the Game Awards, Breath of the Wild and Age of Climbing sales, I know are gonna shoot way, way, way up. And Nintendo knows this. So I feel that it was all according to their prime time plan. Have Age of Climbing come out before the Game Awards, and it's all a wrap. For me, it makes sense on multiple ends, but I want to know what you guys think. Do you think Breath of the Wild 2 has a big chance of being at the Game Awards this year, 2020? Let me know what you think. And don't forget, I am going to be going live with the Game Awards 2020 with the reaction stream. Hopefully, it'll be better than last year. So guys, until that stream, be sure to like, share, favorite, and most importantly, subscribe to HMK for more Zelda content every week. Big thanks to my Patreon supporters for help making this video happen. If you want to find out how you can support HMK for just a dollar a month, please check out my info in the description box below. Alright guys, until the next video, this has been HMK, and I'll check you guys later.